Sup, peeps. My name is Ian. I sell books on eBay. Yes, I sell books on eBay. I try to anyway. We've got about 10 orders going out today because I finished up yesterday's video quite late in the day. So that covered a few that normally would have been in this morning, but they're not. So let's just show you what has been selling. See if there's anything here that you see that you can pick up yourself and you know, make some money off them. Anyway, first we've got three Ian, Ewan, Ewan, Colfer books, uh, a couple of Artemis Fowl and The Supernaturalist, and the three of them went for £9.99. Pence. Stick them down in the pile for packing. Next, a wee book all on its own, Slaughterhouse 5, Vonnegut, nice, really good condition, paperback. Uh, sell many copies of this you don't make a lot of money on them you know that £4.25 if you buy it for 25-30p you're making 50-60 pence so it's not great but they sell really really easy and it is a super easy listing uh, £4.25 for that one head to Sally next another £4.25 book oh which I'm just throwing at the laptop The Bear's Blade by what's his name Tim Hodkinson 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 uh, I've never seen this before don't know anything about it but it looks like a bit of fantasy so let's pick it up and see if it sells and it did £4.25 as I said next who's that going to Leona and this one's going to Lee four ninety nine for this one sold a copy yesterday sold another copy today and I've got another one listed still so it does seem to be that once if you've got multiple copies of something when one of them sells it definitely improves the performance of that listing so that's two of those sold 4.99 for all that one which means you're making a pound or so profit next is a bundle of five going to briny and we've got ace of spades the miniaturist fragile things the familiars and hamnet so a nice wee bundle there and the five of them went for £12.75. Again, not a bad wee sale. Next, Leah Bardugo. Bardugo, Bardugo. Rule of Wolves. So this is the Shadow and Bone author. Uh, is this Krishaverse? I don't know. But anyway, that went for a massive £4.25. And next. Yeah. this one this was actually on my reading list and somehow it got mixed into a pile of books to list and I listed it without realising what I was doing but it's The Fifth Season by M.K. Jemison. Um that went for £4.99 so if I want to read it I'll need to go out and find another copy somewhere but uh, 4 99 for that one head to Heath right what is next for Damien We've got What They Don't Teach You at Harvard Business School by Mark H. McCormick. Again, really nice, clean paperback. Uh, I am trying more and more to pick up stuff that's li like new condition. Often, often, sometimes you get that back and when you actually look at it, it's not that great, but that one is, and that sold for another massive £4.25. This next sale, thankfully is a little bit more money and it's going to Jay Axford we've got nine guild publishing classics so it's a mix of titles you know the history of the kings of Britain last days of Pompeii Ivanhoe there's another couple of them the Irish RM the history of Tom Jones you get the idea but really nice pretty books will look good on the bookcase uh, they're from, they're not new, 1980, so they're all early 80s, they're not all 1980, but 80, 81, 82, 83, they're all from round about there, so, you know, 40 year old books in really, really good condition, 24 99 for that little bundle, so still not a massive sale, but 25 pence each for those, so that's well, a couple of quid into 24 99 more than happy with that even though it did go with promoted listings last one for now Bernard Cornwall 
War of the Wolf, lovely hardcover. I don't sell many Bernard Cornwall, but when I do sell one, I tend to sell a few. Um, but that went for four pounds and twenty-five pence. So, just make sure I picked up the right one because I had a few firsties of this, and I had a few non-firsties of this, and that is a non-firstie for four pound twenty-five pence. That's all the sales we've got at the moment. Not much else to talk about right now. Um, didn't get much listing done yesterday. Slightly frustrating, but to be honest, it was laziness. I was out doing other stuff for a few hours, and it was a bit exhausting. That's my excuse. Came home, sat down, had my dinner, sat down again, watched the football, read about my book, and heaved off to the pit. So didn't get much listed, but I do have a lot to list. So I'm going to have a good crack at that today. Maybe get about fifteen hundred pounds worth up, which would be nice. Keep things ticking over. Um, the high volume of listing, you know. Tim talks about consistent listing, consistent listing. It doesn't mean you've got to list stuff every single day, but if you want to sell a thousand pounds worth in a month, you're going to have to list at least a thousand pounds worth in a month. It's as simple as that. So if I want my sales to be two to three hundred pounds a day, then I need to be listing at least two to three hundred pounds a day. And to be honest, because I do the buy three, get two free, buy two, get one free, I need to list a lot more than that. So if I list, if I want to make £300 worth of sales, I need to be listing about £500 worth on the assumption that all of that is going to go on one offer or other. It doesn't, but you know that's the assumption I've got to go by just to make sure that there is the capacity there to make that volume of sales. So trying to keep it up there and it doesn't happen every day, but you know, I'll do an awful lot one day and a bit less the next. I, yesterday there wasn't much, the day before was okay. Today I'll list a big chunk and that gives me a bit of breathing space for tomorrow as well where I've got a few other things on and I won't have as much time to get in and about the whole eBay book stuff. And that's us. I'm not picking anything up today, although sometimes I do on a Wednesday. I'm trying very hard not to go and pick too much stuff just now. Um, there's always that fear of missing out. You know, if you don't go in, there might be something absolutely brilliant there that you're missing out on. And when I go in, I think, right, well, I'm just going to look for those bangers. But I don't. I end up going, oh, there's 10 really good condition paperbacks. I'll just grab all of them. And it's not expensive to pick them up. You know, if I see 10 nice paperbacks, it's going to cost me, you know, anywhere between 250 to four pounds. But space, the final frontier, I ain't got that at the moment. So I'm trying very hard to manage that down and see what we can do. So it won't be any pickups until Friday, probably. I'll maybe go in on Friday and see if I can grab a few bits and pieces. But try and try and be good. Try not to just pick up everything that might sell and stick to the stuff that will simply down to space. I'd quite happily go and grab everything, get it listed, stick it up somewhere until I can sell it. But it's now getting to the stage where the picking is taking more and more time every day simply because I'm having I've got stuff you know shelved three and four deep so to find things I'm having to take out you know three four rows of books just to get to one and that takes an awful lot longer than just scanning along grabbing out what's needed and moving on to the next one so watch what would normally have taken me five ten minutes to pick today took me about 20 25 minutes because I was having to constantly move things to get to things, so it's always something to consider. Selling books, selling anything that you've got the space to properly store it for picking, and that's that's my biggest challenge at the moment, I would say. Uh, but it will fix itself. If it won't fix itself, I will fix it in the future. It just needs a few things to fall into place to do that. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I'll probably be back in a wee while, show you what else sold through the day, and. Uh, yeah, catch you later, or in a couple of seconds from your point of view. Turns out I don't have any more sales to share. A couple have come in late this afternoon, but they're for tomorrow, so I'm not even looking at them just now. That's a bit disappointing, you know. I thought there might have been a couple more things to share with you. But I was out and about, and I did. I, like I said, I am not picking anything up today, but I just stuck my head into the shop, and there was six books. I thought well, that's great, six books, just the kind of bread and butter from a variation listings. So went up to the till with them and uh, the girl that works there, the woman, the lady, she says, oh, do you want any more? 
oh, 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 temptation comes. This is eh, well, depends what you've got. Oh, somebody's just dropped in six bags, big, big bin bags full of books, and I've got nowhere to put them to store them, and there's no room in the shelves to put them out. Do you want to have a look and see if there's any you want, so I don't have to store them all? So, another ninety books or something. What, what, what can you do? I would have taken about three times as much as that, but I was trying to be very, 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 very well behaved. So just sorted through them, stored them as best I could for them in the space they've got, and uh, took a few of them away to clear up some space. Just bread and butter stuff, nothing, you know, no fancy, crazy finds. Um, obviously, it's all come from one person, so it's their collection, and it's just a very typical mix, you know, all the, the big authors, uh, they had lots of Geoffrey Deaver, Michael Connolly, Dilly Court, Robert Harris, a bit of Michael Crichton, Sebastian Fox, Lee Child, Mark Billingham, Karen Slaughter, Marion Keyes, Clyde Custler, Kate Atkinson, Katie Ford, Harlan Coleman, Vince Foot, you know, just all the usuals. Um, and I've got just about all of them listed now as well, so it's quick variation listing stuff, rattles through, uh, it gets on very very quickly very very easily ideal from that point of view and yeah I've got nowhere to put them I don't, don't know if you'll be able to see it but that lot is too deep plus another couple of stacks I have shifted out of the way and I've just got nowhere to put them I'm an idiot I don't know what to do anyway that is why you should not go to the charity shops to buy books final word goodbye well not goodbye thank you very much for watching and your support subscribe like all, all the usual stuff and uh, i'll no doubt see you tomorrow <laughs>